Wow, Lagos is 50 already? Just like yesterday. I am Yusuf Adebayo Grillo. I was born in Lagos in the Brazilian quarters. And I can remember vividly the birth of Lagos. And I also remember the, act the political action and the tussle between those who wanted um, Lagos separated from the West and the drummers, singers, with uh, popular songs, Gidigbe Likuwa, Don Dokusushi, and so on and so forth. Those days, Lagos was very, very small. And we were so proud of Lagos because all around Lagos was regarded as Igbo, a bush. People who were living even at Ebutemeta because the railway created settlements in Ebutemeta and there was a small population in Ebutemeta at that time. And some of them who come to Lagos Island, we used to call them derogatively Ara Okeudu. Actually, Okeudo became the name for Ebutemeta and Yaba and so on and so forth. In those days, the Eyo Festival was limited to the Lagos Island. Traditionally, the Eyo Festival celebration never ever crossed the Kata Bridge. It was unheard of. It was taboo. But when the military took over and you had soldiers becoming the governor of Lagos and Eyos was being ce ce celebrated, of course. And gradually, because of the power of the government, the ceremony was enlarged. It uh, gradually became a fun activity rather than a traditional serious observance. It became fun. These are the changes that have come about. There are so many, so many things we traditionally were unheard of for someone who was born in Lagos Island and who grew up in Lagos Island. Socially, communities then, when we were young, you had the Olugbowo, you had the Obalinde, and so on. And there was a very healthy rivalry between them, especially during festivals. In particular, Easter. There was something known as the Garita when people came out in imitation of the bullfighting called Meboi. There would be a, like a masquerade of the bull and people would follow and sing Meboi, 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 Meboi. Boi is bull. But you can Meboi, Meboi. We didn't know it was bull. We just chanted the song. And it was very, very interesting. These are reminiscences of uh, those days, which uh, were so interesting, so colorful. Now, I hardly know Lagos now. I need a guide to show me Lagos for someone who claims to be born in Lagos and who claims to be a Nagosian, who is now living in what used to be Yubo, there we are. But we thank God for the development. Uh, there is the proverb that It's just expanding and expanding. It's uh, fantastic the development that has taken place between that time and now. It's inconceivable. If I, if I wasn't part of it, I would say no, it's not so. But there it is. This is my Lagos story. 